Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is again Mafe of Makeup Ni Maria, also known as Makeup by Maria in Facebook and Instagram. For those of you who don't know, I am actually a pro makeup artist and I've been receiving tons of questions about what are the products that a beginner pro makeup artist should have on their kit. So what's the best way for me to show you or to tell you what are those products but to show you my personal makeup artist kit. So if you want to know what's inside my bag, please keep on watching. Hey guys, so basically these two bags are the main bags that I carry. One is the Suka um, trolley bag and the other is the extra large or the largest nylon makeup bag. So I'll show you what's inside one by one. By one. So let's begin with this Suka bag. As you can see, this is the standard Suka bag. Um, this is the Pro um, Zuka bag uh, kit. It has a cover on it, but it's outside. I didn't uh, bring it right now. This comes with the regular handle or the one that the uh, trolley usually have. So on the sides, you can actually see here that you can put your calling card or your business card in here. There are pockets here. This is um, a zip pocket where I normally put my hair um, alligator clips and also I put here my prong clips so the reason why I put it here sometimes I wanted to make it minimalist yet strategic so I normally put it here because I um, most of the time I do hair first before makeup and then I remove the hair um, stuff after doing the makeup so it's easier for me to put the clips on this side when everything is already packed. So on the other side, I have here another pocket for business card and I have here a mirror that goes on the other bag. And nothing else on the zipper. I don't have anything on the zipper. Usually I put my contracts, brother bridal contracts on this side of the bag. So let's go to the inside. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, Zuka can actually um, carry or someone can sit here up to 300 pounds so you can use this as a chair um, on the field if there is no chair or you can also sit on it when you're waiting um, for a cab or anywhere else that you need to have a place to sit in so again this is just um, the typical logo of Zuka it's a, a magnetic lock and then let's open the inside so here this is like a door type of opening that goes on the side it's this is way better than the other one that I saw that allows this part to go on the floor which is um, for me will definitely make your Zuka bag dirty faster so on this side you can see there are like mesh zip you can put anything that you want to put here I normally don't put that much because this alone is already bulky so if you put too much stuff in here it will not allow you to close it properly but um what i normally put here it has garters also for if you have brushes i think you can put or anything else in this mesh pocket so in this part what i normally put is um my pouch of beauty blenders I have most of my beauty blenders and brushes um, on this side drying up because I have a gig tomorrow and also safety pin um, usually my hair tools are inside of one of these pouches so if everything is packed and someone um, accidentally uh, broke the pin or definite uh, or requires or needs hair pin like the bride or bridesmaid then I have it on just the pocket of my Zuka bag and then let's just close that it's definite um, it is actually expandable so if you have more stuff to put here it will expand now let's get to the inside put it on the side so I can show you on this side what is the content this is our these are all my foundations I'll show that to you later and then this is my brush belt. Majority of the brushes I have are again drying on that side. I carry Morphe 
um, Real Techniques, Mac, Jessup, and other um, other brands. So the first one, the first pouch, are all palettes, and then the second one are all hair tools, and the last one are miscellaneous. I have extra uh, puff sponge. Um, these are fun makers. I have some hair accessories at the back. So this I don't actually need to show you. That is only applicable if you're also a hair and makeup artist. So these I will not remove them. They're just basically the hair tools that I carry. Brushes, um, hairspray, hair mousse, hair gel, hair wax, hair oil, and all that jig bag. Here is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite uh, pocket aside from foundation. This contains all of my palettes. So, all right. So I will show you everything that is inside this foundation bag that I have right here. But be mindful, I will be creating a separate video for just for the foundations I carry in my kit to give you a thorough description and recommendation of why I choose those foundations for my kit. Now let's open it. I perhaps have almost 20 foundations here aside from the foundations that I have in my other kit which is the luxury ones and also the full coverage dermacolor ones. So I'll pull up whatever I got here. I normally use Laura Mercier um, Cream Smooth Foundation, Clinique even better foundations and Laura Mercier Smooth Finish Flawless Foundation for dry skin, mature skin, and young skin. Like for preteens who does not have blemishes yet, and also for um, mature skin who does not require too much coverage of foundation as well as um, does not require heavy foundation at all. So again, I have two um, even better Clinique foundations. Let's see if I can adjust the light. I have two foundations, even better foundations. And then I have Laura Mercier, both Laura Mercier. These are almost similar, but this is cream. And this is liquid. And then I also have, for normal skin, I have Mufe or Makeup Forever. And also the Macro Longwear. I have, I normally keep two shades because I know how to mix and match. And I also have RCMA and craft open palettes to mix with them if ever I got I don't have the right shade for my clients. So I have Makeup Forever HD and also MAC Pro Longwear Foundation for normal skin. Now for combination to oily. Combination to oily does not actually require too much of matte foundation because um, they're basically uh, some parts of their face does not actually are not actually so oily. So for that, I normally use um, Studio Fix Foundation from MAC as well as the uh, Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. So these two brands works best for combination to oily skin. I will not recommend them for too much oiliness or for too oily skin because they tend to actually last up to 7 hours before they or six hours before the shininess comes uh, in the face. So these are only for normal to combination skin. And then for oily skin, I have three brands. My fav my, my personal favorite is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. I have three shades. These are definitely similar, very, very similar to the Estee Lauder Double Wear, Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, but this has a little more glow compared to this one, which is too matte for me and looking too heavy on the face. But both really, really are comparable when it comes to performance. Only the finish are quite different. So again, I have this Estee Lauder and this one. They are sisters when it comes to the line of brand, which is Double Wear. But I decided to pick different ones so that I can actually explore more about the other um, the other shade as well as the other line in the same double wear um, of Estee Lauder. But uh, they work well on very, very oily skin. 
I actually do not recommend them to be used on matured skin and on a very young skin client because they tend up to be very cakey and also looking heavy on the face but these are all the ones um, that I'm using are definitely perfect for the bride just make sure you know which skin type your clients are and lastly one of again also my personal favorite are the Kat Von D Locket Foundation which is why I have four of them they are basically semi full coverage and to full coverage and they last very well on our weather so that's the reason why I have more of them so those are all the foundations that I carry on my kit again I will be doing a separate video a uh, more thorough or a, a more detailed video regarding the foundations that I use on my face as well as a quick comparison of each to the others so let's proceed with the next one now let's proceed to this bag this is my favorite bag among every every pouch inside my Zuka bag I have here my NARS narcissist um, unfiltered 2 palette for blush I have the Jaclyn Hills uh, collaboration with Becca palette that has two um, highlighters and three more blush I also have this Morphe um, eyebrow palette and the BYS Nude 2 eyeshadow palette for smoky and more glittery eyeshadow. I have my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette for contour and highlighting. RCMA um, Vincent Kiho foundation palette. Um, I used to um, solely rely on this foundation when I was still in school or makeup school. Now I'm still using it but mostly as a mixer if I have if I don't have the foundation um, that matches my client I normally mix and match from this and also use it as a concealer as this contains 50% pigment. And then this is one of my new palette. Um, this is a local brand from Detail which is the Metallics. I love the shades that it has. Um, mostly metallics or not really foiled but a shimmery eyeshadow colorful ones that can actually be used um, when you're about to or when you will be dealing with um, parties or night events that requires more pop of color and then this is another blush palette um, on top of the NARS one this has more colors from Morphe that can suit more deeper um, skin tone of clients and then the very first eyeshadow palette that I had, um, this is the Morphe 35N palette. This is the neutral one. And this is what it looks like. It has more of the neutral undertones of pink, browns, and a little purple on it. And the other eyeshadow palette, the one of my favorite, is the Jaclyn Hills palette. You will know that I've been using it several times because the shiny part or the holographic part here is already gone because I always use it and clean it, sanitize it just like what I will be doing later after this video. This is part of the very first batch that came out. I ordered it online and this is the palette inside. So the next one is this is one of my newly purchased eyeshadow palette from Too Faced Natural Love palette. That's the reason why it's still inside the box. So I'll show you um, these uh, or the shades in this palette are the perfect shades for bridal makeup as you can see neutral but foiled shimmery palettes and I know the Too Faced usually come up with a very very high quality eyeshadows that's why I purchased this one it comes still with this leaflet I don't know in, in the box that's why I have not used it I've swatched it for myself but since I still have those two other eyeshadow or three other eyeshadow palette I'm looking forward to use it on my next bride only all right so let's proceed with this big nylon bag right here I got this from glad King PH this is a nylon bag it's a large one I just put my diving sticker um, this is how big it is it has two zip compartment it has a shoulder bag strap it can also be a hand carry 
or you can also use this strap as the backpack um, style however it's a little awkward if you will use it as the backpack so let's open this big bad boy right here on the first compartment let's this zips actually can be locked you can put a padlock right here if you want to have more safety when it comes to your stuff so let's see what's inside let's go a little closer when you open the first zipper you will see this flap cover um, it has uh, three pockets what I have here are um, trash bins paper bags and on the second I also have here some hair clips or hair pins extra and also an extra palette as well as um, rubber bands or hair bands the way I actually pack my stuff is quite strategical and minimal I hope um, so basically when everything is packed this one in my Zuka and an emergency happens that the bride or my client actually needs um, a bobby pin I have it here and also some elastics and here on this side I have a bun maker I mask if I'm not feeling well and also some razors and also another um, elastic so this one doesn't have a strap so you need to make sure that is leaning towards something at the back so that it will hold but I don't normally keep it open because what I keep here are just my stash of lashes I carry Bokto, Taiwan lashes and Miniso lashes as well as Glad King lashes this is just the head of my um, what's this head of my hair dryer uh, baby wipes I normally use uh, giggles but right now I have this bonus baby wipes um, kitchen towel or folded towels and again strategically if clients um, emergency while you are done packing and they need some bobby pins I have it here and also my whoops we're moving and also my business card so basically I just move these stuff out except the pins and then close it back again but underneath this there's a mesh mesh pocket you can still put some stuff here but I'm trying not to actually um, load so much stuff in this bag because it tends to be heavy as well as unable to zip the or close the zippers now let's proceed to the main pocket this is how it looks like I know it's a bit dirty as of the moment so um, we are on the process of cleaning it right now because I have a gig tomorrow so let's focus a bit let's see what we have here okay so here this is where the um, you saw the mirror earlier from the um, Zuka bag I put it in here but if you're not using it you can also flip it back this has a plastic cover so that uh, ideally it will actually hold your brushes but again because this um, this part of the bag solely relies on these straps you might want to be careful on putting stuff too much on this part and also it will be hard for you to close it if you have too much bulky stuff from here it will interfere with the products here on the bottom so let's begin I have here what I have here is the um, some other foundations that I have that does not fit on the bag that I have in the Zuka this is the Dermacol 218 and Dermacol 209 or 208 also I think and then these are all of my eyeliners I have black gray from Graf Tobin white ones yellow ones um, nude ones from NYX local brands like Everbelena or Nishido I mean I have Graftobian, Everbelena, Eated House, and all that sort. And also here are brow products. I have Brow Caras from Nishido. Um, I have here Tony Moly Eyebrow Pin. And my favorite, Kathy Doll um, Real Brow 4D Mascara. And also Maybelline Microblade Brow Pin. And here I have just a clear uh, mascara. Maybelline Hyper Curl Mascara, Lash Sensational Mascara, and some extra 
eyebrow razors. These are all um, lip uh, lip pencil. I have Graf Tobin, I have NYX, I have Avon, um, I have this from Ashley, I have uh, Kiss Proof, I have Me Now, and a bunch of sort, even Mary Kay ones, and also lip and chick palette from Graf Tobian. Um, this is blush palette. I can also use it on the lips if I want. And the other foundations that I use are Dewy Formula. I have here two foundations from RCMA or no, Graf Tobian Dewy Foundations just in case um, I need to mix in with foundations. I have multiple shades right here. So I normally just put it here just in case I need them. And then let's close them a little and proceed with the below one but you can also have some palettes in here if you want right now i only have an extra mirror a foldable mirror right here just in case i need extra mirror and clients wants to have a handheld mirror i have it in here and then let's proceed with the bottom one. Oh, this is actually open let me close it let's start with this one this one contains majority of my tools i have the lash applicator i have the lash curler some um, scissors i have eyebrows oh, i'm sorry pen sharpener tweezers i have my sampler size of um shishado translucent loose powder also the laura mercier translucent powder this this powder right here is really really expensive the big one costs three thousand plus and this one right here already cost me 900 pesos just for this sampler just for me to test it i only use it for my brides under eye other than that i only, um i use a regular powder this one is the l'oreal this is the best eye um gel eyeliner for me from l'oreal because it lasts long it's waterproof and it's smudge proof this is the best um gel eyebrow gel for me or pomade um from jazzy france but i heard they can discontinue it so i hope i will find a better replacement and the best concealer to clean the eyebrow product on the brows is the bys concealer it is very very um creamy and pigmented and it's very nice to use on the eyebrows for cleaning and then i have a sample size of estee lauder double wear um in 1w2 sand i had it to test what's my shade for myself and this is the best shade for me but since i already bought a new one for myself a regular size i decided to put this here in my pro kit so that's it let's close this one and let's proceed with the other pouch this other pouch contains um bottles spray bottles i have um this one is a simple makeup remover this is basically um garnier makeup remover excuse me that i move in this small case because it gives it allows me to spray on the client's face and then wipe it and then for um for facial mist i have nature Republic's aloe vera gel spray mixed with um 3wc pearl mist i i mix both of them and it gives a very very hydrating and dewy finish on the client's face and i have two setting sprays i have um skindinavia i'm mary Kay by skindinavia for regular um for dewy and natural finish and for matte finish i use the cat bondi locket setting spray so that's all what is in this pouch and let's move on to this side these are all my liquid lipsticks whenever i'm on a gig i normally turn it upside down so that i can easily see what are the shades that i have i basically have revlon um kylie bys i have jazzy friends i have la girl and i have nyx i also have la colors bys and Kathy doll so basically those are all the liquid lipsticks that i have this is also a Kathy doll and then for the next one i all have all my concealers as well as correctors contour 
primers. So I have LA Girl concealers and correctors. I have Makeup Forever. I have Maybelline. I have here um, H Rewind and the Fit Me concealer. I have Eaten House eye primer. Um, I Heart Stage Essence eye primer. I have BOS contour. I have MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and also my Graftobian Dermacolor Concealers and Correctors. These I got from the school. Now, after the makeup, um, the lipstick, I have, I'm um, sorry, liquid lipsticks. I have my lipsticks from Avon, from, I have Avon, Maybelline, majority of them are MAC and also a very tiny Kat Von D. This one. Aside from liquid lipsticks and also the cream lipsticks, I normally um, use this so, Urban Decay Vice Cosmetics um, lipstick is my Vice palette. Usually they're most um, shimmer and also glossy type of lipstick if the client this, uh, um, requires or asks for that type. Now this, uh, this space right here let me focus contains all of my prep and prime area so basically I have max strobe cream um, for the face I usually mix it with the foundation as well if I want a dewy luminous finish um, glossy rose bomb.com for the lips um, NYX angel veil primer for pores um, Vaseline for the lips also and moisturizer for men Nivea men um, the Becca what is this again? This is the um, under eye brightening primer. I have the Clinique moisturizer. I have VDL Lumina um, Lumi Layer primer. I have the Emberlease moisturizing primer. And for mattifying the client's face, I normally use the Nurturing Force um, Blot Out Offense Offensive Shine and Oil Mattifier. Um, hand lotion from Kiehl's. Um, I have alcohol. I have my Bokto lash glue, duo lash glue, um, another um, Traveler Clinique's moisturizer, um, Benefit Pore Freshenal for pores, and for dry skin I use also Detail Illuminating Primer Oil. I have the Elf liquid um, liquid highlighter. I also mix it with foundation, Baby Skin Pore Eraser for the pores. And the moisturizing illuminating primer from BYS. Now, on this side, this has majority of my uh, other foundations that I rarely use. I have the Dior foundation. This is a tester. Um, Dior Skin Forever. Two shades that I have. Basically, I use it for the clients who are very demanding on the um, on the brands, and also for those who does not have blemishes. Because honestly. These are so expensive, but they do not have coverage at all. And I have a mixer, a dark mixer of Laura, I'm sorry, Estee Lauder Double Wear, a dark foundation. If ever I had to, I have to deal with darker skin tones. And just like the Your Foundation, the Chanel foundation that I have right here, which is the perfect Perfection Lumiere Velvet Foundation, does not have any coverage at all, but it is really, really good for matured skin or for younger skin. I have hair, vel uh, hair velcro right here and some uh, disposable I have disposable um, mascara ones and I have q-tips and lip um, lip applicator lips or lip cream applicator and also the blotting paper all right so those are what we have on that side so let's proceed on this side I have here um, Laura Mercier Candle Glow Powder. I like it for uh, for just a hint of highlight for those who doesn't want to look like their face has highlights, but a very very lumin um, luminous um, candle glow um, sheer coverage or sheer um, highlights. This is the best one to use. I love this. I'm looking forward to get more shades of it. Um, I have a regular blush from FS. This is my RCMA No Color Powder. I just put it on this dispenser. It's easier. Um, again, as a, as a makeup artist, you have to be strategic when you're packing your makeup kit because 
if everything is already closed remember all of my palettes are in bazooka bag if everything I already and um, I already pack and then the clients approach me and ask my blush needs to be um, stronger my lipstick needs to be retouched so on and so forth I have it on this bag I can just simply open it one zip and I can do a retouch that's why I have here a peach blush from BYS um, sorry by FS Cosmetics that I can easily get if ever someone wants to touch up their blush and also someone wants to touch up their highlights and then this one is a very very nice product this is a local brand this is the cheapest product I have here for only 100 pesos this is a great dupe for for hourglass but on a blush side because it has a very luminous sheer blush uh, right here I don't know if it's being given justice by this light but it is a very very pinkish luminous color that if you want to have you touch your blush but just add a little shine this is the best way to go and also for body shimmer for shoulders uh, for the body part that you want to use highlights I use this bare minerals mineral veil illuminating uh, powder and then for nose contour, again, just in case you need to touch up the contour and the client's face, I have two um, traveler size contour powders. Hula Light and Too Faced uh, Milk Chocolate Layer. They're very, 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 very similar in the shade color. A little darker for the um, this one, which is the Too Faced, but this I only use for the nose contour. And for the warmer bronzing again the hula bronzer is still the best I have no complaints this is the best color I ha I'm running out of it a headband and but if I need to do a contour and my cat Bondi is already packed there I have here the um, sleek trio I have highlight I have a blush and I have a contour and the sleek highlight if my Becca is already packed I have here the sleek in this Bag. so again I place it or I pack my stuff strategically to make sure that I can have everything handy just in case now this side the last part of it is all about powders so for oily clients I use the essence all about matte finishing powder I don't use it to set the powder um, the foundation in the uh, in the face because it tends to be cakey if the base or if it's uh, mixed with wet products I have the uh, Manix so, um, no filter sun filter finishing powder I like the finishing powder just a little um, touch up on where you normally put the highlights just to make it or just to give it a little um, glow especially if you end up putting too much matte foundation or too much powder on the face now the LA girl pro face HD matte uh, pressed powder I use it hand in hand with the FS cosmetics and the Mac studio fix as a setting powder if I need more coverage for the client especially if they have um, oily skin and they want to have uh, they want to make sure that they will have a matte finish and my favorite among all the powders that I have are the studio or the matte mineralized skin finish I have the highlighter in soft and gentle Th uh, this is very good for brides for natural glowing skin as well as for matured skin because it does not emphasize their lines and wrinkles and I have three um, studio oh sorry studio uh, mineralized skin finish in medium medium dark and medium plus I really love this um, finishing powder or I uh, to set the powder and it does not make it too mattifying it's best for dry skin normal skin and also if you don't want to make it too matte because you already put matte foundation this is the best um, powder to set the client's face to make it more neutral and more natural looking so those are the contents of this bag I hope you um, you find this helpful for those who are starting to build their makeup kit there is no way that I'm telling you to buy all the stuff that I have it took me almost a year to compile or to um, collect all the stuff inside my makeup kit so I hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you have more questions again I will create a separate video for 
Um, all the foundations that I use on my makeup kit, give them a separate review and recommendations as well. Alright, thank you so much for watching!